and she like looked up from her brown robe like ah. I double the bed, I'm in the stretch 
to another vlog. Yes, we are skipping last week because I worked 72 hours and I'm pretty sure you guys didn't want me to or didn't want to see me just typing on a computer and clicking a mouse and just visuals of my feet walking around because last week was very crazy. So um yeah we skipped last week's vlog that's okay people were preparing for the rihanna concert yesterday anyway i know i was so i wasn't really you know tripping that um we kind of had to skip so um i wanted to give you guys quality content and like i said i just didn't think you guys wanted to see those boring snippets or me sleeping in between shifts so anyways hopefully this week will be better i don't know i'm not too optimistic just because i work a q2 this week which i told you guys previously that means like 24 hours on 24 hours 24 hours off and then another 24 hours on so i don't know if this week is going to be any better but i'm somewhat hopeful that it is because at least it's not a 72 hour week so um anyways all i did was my hair this morning it's monday um, today is pretty much, like I said, the only free day that I have this week, so we've got to use it wisely. I got up this morning, ordered groceries, finished my hair, and, you know, just from previous comments, um, I told you some people were saying that they didn't care if I showed the washing process and deep conditioning process, which was great for me because that's, I told y'all, this guy and this setup, it's just it's not on my side. So um, I just wanted to show you guys what I use as a deep conditioner this time just because I know whenever sometimes you put heat on your hair, um, sometimes depending on what deep conditioner you use, your hair can frizz really easily or can get really oily. So I use the Advoa Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. It's like a protein treatment. I always use some sort of protein treatment before I put heat on my hair. And then I always, 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 always use the it's a 10 silky um deep conditioner what is it called the miracle silk hair mask i always use this for my hair whenever i straighten it um, it helps me to detangle really easily and it keeps it from frizzing and then as leave-in conditioners i did the affigy keratin and green tea restructurizer spray and then the it's a 10 miracle silk leave-in so and then as heat protectants i I've been using this since high school. <laughs> These are like golden to me, the Chi Keratin Mist, and then on top of that, just a small amount of the Chi Silk Infusion. Does great for heat protection for my hair. I did not flat iron it. I just wanted, you know, just cute pin curls. This will probably not be existent tomorrow, <laughs> and that's fine. I'll probably just do like Bantu knots or you know, maybe I'll use flexi rods or something like that. But for today, I just wanted something like really, you know, cute and, you know, just cute. <laughs> well, like I said, we got to use today wisely. So I'm going to go ahead and film some educational content for Instagram right now. And then I will talk to you guys afterwards. Bye. Okay guys, so I just kind of wanted to go over what I do on my content filming days. So first of all, I film in the part of my house with the best lighting and I always have a couple of bullet points that I make sure that I review while filming just so I can make sure that I hit all the important topics that I want to and then I sit down and edit my video. This nosy man. And I try to edit it then and there so I can see if I need to reshoot it. And then after I'm done editing, I go into my Canva app and I just choose the best looking photo. Or I go through photos that match the theme of the video that I am filming. And I just edit it in the app and just find the best one that I think probably fits the theme of the video. And after I am done in Canva, I download it and I save it to my phone. I always put it to the highest resolution as a JPEG image. And then to make sure that I like the actual photo that I chose in Canva, I open up the feed preview app and I see if it fits with the theme on my page. And if not, I will go back into Canva and either readjust the photo or just choose another one. Hope this helps. Bye. 
Do you see what I mean? <laughs> I mean, it's straight at this point. So, I don't know if you guys can see. Like, what? Already. Straight. So, <laughs> we'll be doing Bantu knots or flexi rods or something tonight because... <laughs> I do all this work for nothing. Anyways, I gotta go handle some business um, at, what is it called? Like the resident office or whatever? Cause they trying to play with your girl right now. And um, I'm gonna go get something to eat. Do you guys know what I miss? <laughs> I miss like leaving the beauty shop on Saturday evenings or like, Saturday around like noon or whatever because I used to be the first one in the shop <laughs> on Saturdays and like I just miss that feeling of like leaving the shop on Saturday afternoon and like having like the breeze blow into your face and your neck and your hair and you just feeling so beautiful and fresh and new <sighs> I miss those days <laughs> especially during Black History Month this is the time to feel that way. It's like pretty. Leaving the shop as a black girl. That's like one of the top tier moments of being a black girl is leaving the shop and feeling so pretty and like fresh and new and bodied or whatever it is. So I miss that. I one man in my pocket and the other one's holding up. They're playing Alanis Morissette in the lounge. I know you was there, player. I'm kind of blocking the road, though. You gonna have to move. You you need to move, bruh. I am so happy. They called and told me that my ring is ready. Finally. I've been looking crazy all week without my ring. You better not have effed up my ish, Chris. It's me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I was the one who called about the ticket number. They didn't replace this, did they? It looks more yellow. Huh? They didn't replace this, did they? It looks more yellow. Like, Maybe it's clean. They, just, they, they cleaned it this one. Oh, okay. It's still diamond right there. Huh? It's a real diamond. Yeah, I know. It just it's it looks more the yellow way, than that time. That time maybe it's uh -huh. dirty because that's why. Oh, okay. You said seventy-five. Yeah. Um. Which one? Can yeah. you get your seat? Okay. Why is my ass in Sephora? I should not be here. It's because I need more of these guys. I'm telling y'all, if y'all are on a budget, these masks are amazing and you need to get them. These eye masks are really good. So if you're on a budget, if you're in med school, nursing school, whatever, graduate school, whatever. Sephora brand is that. I really need some more of the Serum, but I'm not gonna get more of this until I move. I don't wanna overload myself and then probably the CEO go too. So I've been noticing that my CeraVe sunscreen has been, I don't know, it's just been a little like ashy <laughs> since I've gotten on Ac gotten off Accutane, so I'm gonna try the Super Deep Unseen sunscreen because it's cooler. Y'all need to get this hair oil if you haven't tried it yet from Bread. Black owned, good stuff. So, I don't see the multivitamin hand and nail treatment lotion anymore, so that makes me sad. So, I hope they bring that back because healthcare workers need that.
y'all. These don't smell like anything. It smells like water. Just saying. Um, y'all need this if you are trying to look for a perfume primer or something to make your perfume last longer. You need it. So this smells good, but I've been in here for like 10 minutes and it's already worn off. Just so you guys know. But guys, I had no idea that they had the Fenty perfume to try in Sephora now. I knew they had it online to order, but if you want to smell it, make sure you go to your nearest Sephora. we're in Zara now and if any of you are looking for that button-down shirt dress that I had on recently in my Instagram they have it at Zara if you're interested y'all since I have left Sephora I cannot stop smelling my arm as I was walking out I saw the Fenty perfume I was like oh I thought they were only selling it online because if you look on the app it says that you can order it but that pickup isn't an option so when I saw it I was like oh I have to spray this and y'all I cannot figure out if I like this perfume that's like actually one of my pet peeves when I can't figure out if I like something or not um, but I also tried the new Valentino coral fantasy I think it is yeah born in Roma coral fantasy I'm a fruity florals girl okay if you are a unisex woodsy uh, oud type of girl oh baby we don't like the same scent so don't listen to me um I, I like really fruity florals fresh fruity florals like basically Dolce & Gabbana light blue Owen tents the regular one I love, I wore that one, I've, I've been wearing that one since college, but basically the Dolce & Gabbana light blue Owen tints, like, I feel like that, it's not like my absolute favorite scent, but I think it captures the essence of what I'm trying to say that I like. I like something to smell really fresh, like I just got out of the shower, and I like for it to be citrusy, fruity, and floral. And so, basically everything, I'm insatiable. <laughs> so that scent I love. The Valentino Coral Fantasy is a little sweet, like almost immature to the point where you think a teenager would be wearing it. But as it sits on me, it lightens a little bit, so I think it's appropriate for me. And I like it, and I just want to try it out. So I got that one. I also got the Valentino, um, just born in Roma, I think it is. Is that what it's called? I guess we're doing the haul in the car. Um, I was going to wait till I got home, but I got the born in Roma. Um, this one's been out for a while, but I just can't figure out if I like this one either. So I just went ahead and got a sample. But this Fenty one, I cannot tell what it is and if I like it. Like it kind of has, it's a very mature scent, I will say that. Um, this smells like a, a rich 30 three and up crowd type of scent this smells like you have money okay normally I'm a lot better at describing perfumes than I am right now because I literally can't tell what it is in here um, the notes on the app say hang on let me pull it up so the notes on the app say that it's a warm floral and that the key notes are magnolia musk and Bulgarian rose and it also has blueberry and hints of coconut, geranium, and patchouli. It's definitely a warm scent. It's a mature scent. To me, it smells very... It's like a fruity, woodsy scent. Y'all just gotta go to Sephora and smell it. But, because normally I'm really good at describing scents. Like this Coral Fantasy by... Um, Valentino it has like a very um, sweet fruity smell almost like a peach or a like peach or sweet pea or something like that 
from um, Bath and Body Works. I know nobody wants to smell like that, but I'm just saying it would remind you of that scent. But this one I cannot describe for the life of me. It's like a fruity berry woodsy scent. And I normally don't like woods. Like, I'm not a woodsy kind of girl, but I'm trying to figure out if I should just go back and buy it because I would hate to get home. I hate when that is should be happening. You get home, you like, dang, I should have gotten that. I'm like wondering if I should just sit in the car for five more minutes and see if I like it. Ooh, I, I hate when this happens, y'all. I cannot stand it when I can't tell if I don't like a, or, or if I like a perfume or not. This is gonna sound crazy, but like, you know the ink of a pen? <laughs> if an ink pen busts in your pocket, like you know how the ink smelled like when you were a kid? I don't know if that's happened to anybody, but it kind of smells like that a little bit, like an undertone of that. And the thing about it is, is I'm a mixer. Like I never wear just one perfume. I'm always wearing like three or four or five <laughs> because I have a problem. Um, so I'm like, I'm sure if I put like the light blue O Intense with this, or even if I paired the Valentino Coral Fantasy, like I'm pretty sure this would smell bomb. And it's expensive. It's $140 and I already spent $300 in there. Oh, let me show you what else I got. I got um, the Shiseido eye patches because I told y'all these are amazing. Um, and I wanted to stock up before they sold out. So I got those. I got two of those. And then I'm out of my toner, the Glow Recipe Watermelon PHA and BHA, I think it is. PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. This is great for moisturizing and for clearing dark spots. Um, it is a very light toner though. Like if you want something stronger, you're gonna go you're going to want to go with an AHA. Um, but if you have like really sensitive skin or skin that can dry out really easily, technically mine is like that because I got off Accutane a while ago and I don't want to dry out my skin too much. Um, so this is perfect for me. Um, so if you need something a little bit less intense, the PHA, BHA would be good for you. But if you want stronger, AHA is for you. Um, but it is really hydrating. You can also use it as an essence too. And I think that's it. Oh, no, no, no. Hold, hold on. We got one more. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold. There you go. Hold. I got it. Hold it. Hold it. Um, I got the unseen sunscreen because like I told you on the store, I really want to try like a clear or sheer sunscreen, but I also didn't want to like buy the full size and then, you know, it, it pills with my skincare. You know what I mean? Like whenever you, um, put on a good amount of skincare and then you put on your sunscreen and it starts pilling like it, an actual pill. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Um, what should I do, guys? Should I go and get it? I don't know what I should do. I mean, yellow. I need to edit my video. Oh my gosh, why was I in there shopping? I need to edit my video and put that up. <laughs> I just posted my video and I'm going to go back and get the Fenty perfume. Life's too short. I don't even know if I'm going to live tomorrow. I'm going to get it. Okay.
This is not the same diamond, guys. I'm like looking at it and it is so yellow. It's so yellow. Like I look at this ring every single day. I'm trying to be quiet because there's people um, outside of my call room, but this is not the same diamond. Like, and as the light is hitting it, like the sides look like it's cut different. Cause this isn't the same diamond, guys. It, it doesn't look like it. It's freaking yellow. Look at this. It's yellow as hell. This is yellow. I did some research online and it looks like every GIA certified diamond has a laser inscription on it. So we're trying to find the certificate and see what that number is. And then I guess we're just going to take it to another jeweler and just confirm that it's the same one and if it's different I don't know where we're gonna go from there um, and the thing is, is I went to like multiple well-known jewelers and all of them were like we don't have jewelers in the house we'll have to send it off for two to three weeks and to me like that sounds more suspicious than anything like I don't want to not have my ring for two to three weeks like that doesn't sound right um but like the little you know jeweler people in the mall that's like chains and, and stuff um they're like oh we can get it to you in like two days to me that sounds more reputable than two to three weeks but i look at this ring every day guys multiple times a day like this isn't the same ring i don't know what to do <laughs> This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, help me, Jesus. I mean, at this point, I might as well round because I mean, like, what is the point? Oh my god. Oh my god. Apparently, I was talking to my patients with salsa and salube on my scrubs all morning. Like a bozo. Hey y'all, I know you can barely see me, but it is later in the night and I am on my way to Target because I am a horrible dog parent and I forgot that my dogs need food while I am on my shift tomorrow. So I am driving to Target against my own will to go and get some dog food for them. All right, that's better. <laughs> I know I look crazy. I'm very much on alley witch status right now, but you know what? I need to tell you guys that story. I'm at Target, I'm in the parking lot. Let me lock my doors, cause listen, my upbringing. <laughs> Keep the doors locked if you're sitting in the parking lot, ladies. Anyways, let me tell y'all this story because I'm tired of people asking me about it. <sighs> I really just wanna go on Target and get the dog food, but I also really just wanna address this. Okay. So y'all know residency is like wiggity, 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 whack, right? So one time I didn't get off until about, I kid you not, like 10 o'clock or 10.30. And I hadn't had anything to eat all day. It was an awful day. So I was hungry. So I was like, well, let me just, you know, pull in and get a burger or something. If I'm stopping to get a hamburger and french fries, baby that means I'm desperate okay so I pulled into a Wendy's drive-thru and y'all when I kid you not let me turn my ear off so y'all can hear me I'm having a hot flash right now so I really need it on but I want y'all to hear me when I say this when I turned into that drive-thru somebody gonna think I'm lying I kid you not there was an alley witch sitting like next to the drive-thru like it was like this homeless old white lady y'all know how the beggar woman looks in Snow White yeah it was her like she was sitting 
in like this brown robe and I kid y'all not when I say there was like maybe 12 to 15 cats in a circle around her a perfect circle like perfect circle around this lady and when I pulled in like I said she had on like this brown robe and she like looked up from her brown robe like ah. All alone, my pet. It looked crazy, and like all of the cats, like I said, they were in a circle. And like once she looked up and like did, like she, all of the cats dispersed, and they like ran off into the night, like the trees behind the drive-through. Listen, I like whipped out of that drive-through. I was like, nah, that's all right. <laughs> Nope. Nope. I went to sleep hungry that night. I was like, I don't know if she putting a curse on this Wendy's or whatnot, but yeah, I pulled up out of there. I was like, no. But yeah, like I feel like I look like her right now. Um, I hope she can't hear me because y'all know witches be. But anyways, so I'm here at Target getting dog food because like I said, I'm a horrible dog parent. Um... I know I look crazy, but whatever, it is what it is. I actually had a kickball game today that I really wanted to go to, but <sighs> last night's shift was awful. Like, I'm actually getting to the point, I gotta turn on my air because I'm having a hot flash now. Um, I'm getting to the point where I really feel like I need to reduce my hours or maybe even just consider maybe going back to fellowship and maybe even switching fields because when I tell you my body is getting so sick from working these shifts it's like and I'm gonna say this with caution because I feel like everybody has a suggestion for me that isn't in medicine if you are not a physician who has worked 24 hour shifts consistently please 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 just save it <laughs> <laughs> okay put it in a box in your closet and save it for yourself because I I've tried everything I'm unless you've done it consistently you really can't say what it feels like and I work at a busy hospital institution um, it's the biggest one in Houston and you know I I love my employers you know they listen um, but the field itself <laughs> the actual field of OBGYN is just very tiring I feel like this air is not cold enough you know like to be up all night like my circadian rhythm is off um, like when I get off I have palpitations I feel extremely short of breath I have hot flashes all of the time now my PCOS is worsening thank god I was on Accutane because my skin would be crazy skin would be on pizza face right now if I wasn't on Accutane um but yeah my cramps are getting worse I feel like I cramp all the time <sighs> my fatigue levels are awful and to be honest I hate to be vain but these shifts have aged me 10 years in the past year okay like I, I don't know if you guys remember when I made that hair video where I was showing you guys my roots while giving hair tips because you know everybody always got something to say that's not a real hair anyways um, I was showing you guys my roots for that reason but when I was editing the video I was like wow I didn't even realize that I had like this patch of gray hair just sitting back here and it wasn't always like that so then just came up like in the past year so I don't know I I'm just me and a lot of other people not just here in Houston but like my best friend she practices in North Carolina and a few other people in the field are just like yeah we can't do this anymore and I've known people who have left OB and who have gone back to either fellowship and who have 
pursued um, a career in a more specialized field of medicine, which can give them hopefully a better quality of life. I'm praying for a better quality of life anyway for them. And I know people who have left OB in general. I know people who have left obstetrics out. Um, so yeah, y'all just send up a prayer for your girl for discernment and clarity in this area because I don't know what to do. I don't want to reduce my hours because obviously I need the capital with starting these businesses. Let's just be real. Um, but also I love the field. Like I love what I do. And honestly, going back to clinic isn't any better because you know, when I was in private practice, my clinic filled up. <laughs> I was seeing like 35 to 40 patients a day. And, you know, I would get done with clinic. Now, I, I will, I'm a to my own horn because, I don't know, I just, I believe in doing that in certain areas. I'm really fast in clinic. I know sometimes patients will be waiting for like 20 minutes, but my, my patients were not waiting for a long period of time. If they were, it's because I was in an emergency. Um, so I'm really fast in clinic. So I would get done like at 5.30, 5.36, and my notes would be done. Everything would be done. Notes would be on point, paragraph form. You know, everything's complete and signed. And my inbox of labs are back. But I would have like patients delivering in the hospital and I would have to go in and you know, round on those patients or get up in the middle of the night and go. And it's not any better. Obstetrics is a really hard field. And I'm not saying that because I'm trying to discourage anybody from going into the field, but it's, it's the reality. Like this field is very draining. Um, so, and I know it's hard on the families of physicians, yes. And in particular OBGYNs, because that's what I am. So I'm speaking in particular to us. But, yeah, so, anyways, oh yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, kickball, yeah, kickball. Um, I had a kickball game today that I really wanted to go to. I was, like, excited to, like, run and get some fresh air and, like, you know, interact with people <laughs> outside of, you know, diagnosing and, and whatnot, um, but I just, I can't. I go back tomorrow for a 24-hour shift and... Also, it's a little drizzly outside, and y'all see how my hair is, and I just did it, so no, I'm not doing that. So anyways, I'm in Target. Y'all know I can talk of a storm. I'm really too tired to be talking, to be honest, but I'm going to go in Target and get my dog food, and yeah, I'll probably just see you guys after my ship tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> Okay, so I realized I did not give you guys an update on my ring situation. So, let me focus. Anyways, so I don't know what it was yesterday, but I'm thinking that the cleaning that they did on the ring made it super yellow and cloudy. Because today it's like super clear and it looks the same as it did before. So, I'm still going to take it to a jeweler later this week um but yeah I think probably it was just from the cleaning because now it looks like super clear so and I've looked at it under regular lighting too all right so here is my dinner for tonight um like I said I went to Dish Society great option if you're looking for healthy food and I just get the citrus glazed salmon it comes on a bed of quinoa um, and I also get greens. Their sauteed greens are really good. And I usually end up getting a complex carb, which is either sweet potato or black beans. But tonight, these french fries, because I need it. Hello, do you like my hat? 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 I was so tired when I got home, I just passed out. <laughs> and I forgot I had this hat on, so that's nasty, but whatever. This is what happens when you have a bad shift. You get off and you just eat McDonald's and then pass out. Hello, do you like my hat? Hello, do you like my hat? So, I'm gonna end the vlog here. <laughs> um, I'm very delirious right now, so I'm probably going to look 
extremely crazy and be laughing about everything at the top of next week's vlog. So yeah, I actually wanted to end by saying hi to a couple of followers that I ran into recently. So we're gonna do a quick story time. So I contacted support like through this company um, maybe sometime like two to three weeks ago because I needed help with something and the person that was helping me was like, well, what's the name of your business? And I said, Paging Dr. Dre. And I guess this person works at home because he said it out loud and he was like, Paging Dr. Dre, I guess you have fans or whatever. And I was like, what is, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? And he was like, my girlfriend follows you. And I was like, oh, well, what's her name? And he said her name was Haley. If my memory serves me correct, because this was like three weeks ago and I forgot to do this, so my bad. Um, but I was like, oh, tell her, hey, what's up? And like, we just spent like five to 10 minutes talking about how funny it was how we met. So I actually met one of my supporters through an online chat support system for this website company. So shout out to Haley and Adam. What's up, y'all? Thanks for your support. I love you guys. And then what's even funnier is that the next day I went to Whole Foods um, after that incident and the girl that was ringing me up she was like oh I follow you on YouTube and I was like oh my gosh that's crazy and I looked a crazy man I looked like I did now <laughs> so I was like yeah girl I don't normally look like this even though I guess I do now since this job is ruining my life but yeah shout out to her her name was Daisha um, I remembered it because this same as my cousin so um, but yeah, shout out to her. And then last night I met the nurse that was taking or taking care of my patient in pre-op who was about to go to surgery. She was like, oh, you, you do YouTube, right? And at first I thought she meant you too, like T-O-O. -O. And so I was confused. I was like, what? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, duh, YouTube. And I was like, oh yeah, I, I do YouTube. Um, so shout out to her. I believe her name was Clarissa. I was in such a hurry <laughs> trying to get that patient to surgery and also taking care of a patient on another floor um, that I forgot to like memorize her name. Like Haley and Adam, I remembered to memorize their names. So I was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. And then the Whole Foods girl, I made a note to memorize her name. And then I think when I met Clarissa last night, I was in such a panic, I didn't like take the time to be like hey remember this girl's name you need to shout her out so um my bad if that's not your name okay I think it's Clarissa but you know if it's not don't kill me I'm sure I'm gonna see you again since clearly we work at the same hospital so um yeah shout out to all of my supporters and subscribers I'm feeling very delirious right now so I'm going to annoy my man and I'll see you guys in the next vlog bye I just can't let you go